the journal of Henry Holdsworth, investigator into dwellers of the dark, July the 6th, year of our Lord, 1809. If only my father could see me now, his bookish son sat around the fire pit in the Spanish mountains with the crew of the HMS Whitby, one of the most feared of Spanish guerrillas this side of Madrid, sharing some brandy and a few pieces of meat. Far away, I could hear what I thought was the rumbling of thunder, but Hobie the sailor corrected me. He says, it's the distant song of French guns, echoes carried in the mountains. These sailors are braver than I could ever be. Even this far from the sea, they remain cheerful and full of song and story. If only they knew what really walks in the night. We have sat here on the mountainside, braving mist and morning ever since Gabriella fought the horror of Altea last week. I have been awaiting a message, you see. A missive from my masters, back in May Hill. A call from the silver bayonet. As soon as the gun smoke had cleared in Altea, I noticed a shining light in the dark. A mirror used against the moon. Some poor soul had taken refuge in the rocks in order to get a message to me, braving the harvestmen and Napoleon's legions to get a missive to myself of utmost importance. Using the code taught to me in the strictest secrecy, I'm told to await a message delivered by a Prussian priest called Marcel Yosh. He was due to make his way to the church of San Gicento, not far from the camp where we are right now. It would contain our orders and let us know where the Brotherhood needed us and how we could carry on taking our fight, our light, into the darkness. The message is two days late. Oh, wait! The scout, Swooping Hawk, has just made his way back into camp after exploring at the church. From here, he, he seems shaken. He carries with him a large bag, which he empties on the ground. A huge fetid wolf's head falls to the floor, its mouth open and wild eyes gleaming. Hawk is speaking in his quick-fire tongue, and the midshipman is trying to calm him. He's calling me over now. Wait. What is that howl on the breeze? <coughs>